Linear System. Que es no big deal, pero es a little bit more complicated. And after we study the system also linear and non-linear both of the inequalities. And we finish, we finish no. We study the application of this. So word problem to uh, today we we study three word problems to illustrate where the application of the linear system of equation in 2D and in 3D. And finally, we are doing exactly the same job. We come back again to the linear system, but using matrices and determinants. It's a fantastic way to organize this. And we use a software to solve the system. Okay? This is the quick tools about the chapter four. Very complicated. I recommend stay here with me in any lecture uh -huh, to, to understand any elementary detail. Okay, now let's move into example one because you learn this doing example. Example one. Example one is uh, x plus 2y equals 7. And this is my first equation. I put the number for the equation, equation one. This is the name of this equation. And the system consists in two equations and two unknown or two variables. So say the second is x minus y equal four. Equation two. And this together, one and two together, is the system. And you enclose in this fully bracket to indicate us que this is the mathematical object, one mathematical object que is formed by two equations and two variables. Okay, this is easy, you see before a lot of time, but maybe the teacher don't explain very well the interpretation of this. Okay, look, suppose can you pick, this is a theoretical part, x plus 2y equals y. Yeah, I want to determine dimension. Dimension of this only object. So we are doing the dimension of the equation one. What is that? It's a number. So to determine the dimension, you determine how many variables as the number of variable dimension is number of variable. Okay, obviously it's two, no? We have two variables x and y minus the number of equation. Okay, obviously we have only one, no? And this equation alone, no? Separately, isolated. So say two minus one is one. So say that one can indicate the dimension means that the dimension of the equation one is one. Therefore, the representation, the geometric representation of this is a line. Because the, is the line is the geometric object that has dimension one. Ah, well, another dimension is two. And it's no, it's no, it's no line, it's a plane because it's two dimension. So the plane represents mathematical object in two dimension because we have the width and length. We have two dimensions. We travel, we can navigate in both directions. However, in the line, well, in both directions, but opposite direction or one direction. But it's dimension one because the line is infinity in both directions. However, the line has no thickness. The thickness is zero and no high. It's a mathematical object with the dimension of one. Similar situation happen in the second equation. No? I don't want to repeat because it's the same idea. Dimension, let me call an acronym like that. DIN, indicate dimension of the dimension two, the equation two, sorry, is also one by the same reason. No? 
However, the dimension of the system formed by equation one and equation two, um, very important to understand, okay, when you write the system of equation, the connection between the equation is using the conjunction and, no or. Remember the idea behind the compound a statement that you connect them by and or you connect them by or. No, 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 no. Always, you know, specification is and. Therefore, you need to satisfy the equation one and equation two, both. Okay, so the dimension of the system is one minus one gets zero. It's zero. Why is zero? Because the solution that suppose that we have equation one is a line. Equation two is another line, and the intersection and the satisfied both equation is a point, and the point P is the solution, and the point, the dimension of the one point in any dimension, any space or plane is zero dimension. Uh, this look like trivial. You see, wow, this is, you know, a lot of blah 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 for nothing, because I know, no, no. The problem is that when they are increasing the dimension, for example, when you know like 3D, there's more possibility and you need to understand this. Okay? And you see in 2D, now how we can do different situations. Not only one point, one point, one point. No, 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 no. Okay, so now let's focus it, the majority of the course it Focusing in the algebra behind this. Remember, we have two possibilities. Substitution. And elimination. Okay, some book called elimination or addition subtraction. It's synonym. I prefer elimination, like a name, a substitution. And just say, what is the best way that you can apply? Well, depending on the problem, but if in one equation, if at least in one equation, the coefficient C, coefficient C, F1 or negative one, always is better substitution. This is the limitation. Which is good when at least one coefficient in one equation, no, in all equations, and only one equation, and only one variable. Coefficient is one or negative one, oh, 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 is ready to apply substitution. Otherwise, no, otherwise, it's elimination. So, in my opinion, the best way to solve the system, the more powerful, is elimination, and substitution is a little bit weak. Okay, but in this case, so be, okay, the question number two. We have coefficients in one here and negative one. So either way, either way, either way, you take, for example, you take, for example, the equation two, okay, is a, is in the equation guy okay, detecting that situation, and you isolate one variable. What variable you isolate? The variable you want. In this case, I prefer, I don't know why, you take the equation one, I copy again, and you solve for x, and you copy y equal for y, plus y. Uh -huh. And now, this is the most important moment in which you substitution this uh, expression in another equation. No, in the equation two again. No, no, this is crazy. So you are doing that, you never get answer. So you substitution instead of x you copy 4 plus y plus 2y equal 7 no uh -huh. so now we convert my complicated problem and one easy problem okay it's basically wow in my house we have blackout but okay i'm working with the Back, back up of the computer and the 
con el Wi-Fi, pero hay su voz, que en one moment the battery is down. Pero, ¿qué? Okay. It's not my fault. Hay su voz que, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Hay su voz que, igual. Wow. Do you understand the situation? <laughs> ok. Ok, now eh, I combine light turn. It's 4 plus 3y. Equal 7, ¿no? 3y es equal 7 minus 4, que es 3. It, it come back. The power is come back. Ok, no problema. <laughs> This is the beauty of the United States. The black up is short. Oh, no, no, when they hear a can, no. And 7 minus 4 is 3. Divided by 3 both sides. Y1. Are we finished? No, 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 because we need to find both. We need to find X and Y. So, um, in my opinion, you substitution Y equal one in either equation, in equation one or in equation two. But I prefer equation no one or two. This equation is waiting for me, waiting for X equal something is four plus one, F5 x equal 5 is the solution for the x and the solution is the point 5 comma 1 you organize the answer x first y second no answer this is agreement of the plot in the point in the rectangular coordinate system no? okay 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 let me try let me try to 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 to, to, to. Okay, everything that we are doing i would like to um, analyze the geometric representation. Let me show you, let me show you, let me show you. Image, my device, bam, bam. Look at that, look at that. Let me enlarge this. Uh, ID and Desmos, uh -huh. in two dimensions, it's CC and Desmos. I, I copied it, but no, it's not Desmos. This is the picture, this is a screenshot. Of this, you take the equation, the original equation, uh, and this one you don't need to manipulate anything. You just copy the equation. You see the line, bam bam, and the intersection and the solution. Cool. Everything is clear. Example one is clear. Or oh, super super confused. Uh -huh. It's clear, guy. Okay, let's move on to example two. Okay, bring me new situation, of course. Example two. Example two. Okay. Okay. And example two, we have existing again and to the AX minus two Y equal two. This is my equation one. And the other is four X minus y equal five. Okay. And normally, guys, we have the habit to call name of the equation, equation one, equation two, because when I complicate it, I, I promise I want to complicate it. Now, I look like sound too elementary, but I want to complicate a lot of this, right? Now, Uh, I will always call name equation one, equation two, equation three, equation four, equation five. Okay, cool. In this case, remember we have two methods. The first one is substitution. The second is elimination. And substitution only apply when you have coefficients one or negative one. Oh yes, and the equation two I see here negative one. Okay, no problem. Now you isolate this. Okay, you copy, for example, 4x minus y equal 5. And you, for example, there are many ways to manipulate this, but in my opinion, the best way, you move 5 to the left and you move y to the right. Because you, y, you have y totally isolated and you substitute this expression in another equation, no, in the original, no. So you select equation two for, for isolate the y, you substitute an equation, another equation. So I copy, I copy, I copy 8x 
minus two times y, but who is y? Y is four x minus five. Equal two, no? Equal two. Okay, now apply this three with the property, ax minus ax again, multiplication this and this, and multiplication this and this. Plus 10, no? Plus negative two times negative five plus the 10. And something we are happening now. I try to do my best. However, mm -mm -mm, the x is canceled. AI cannot isolate the x and you get one statement is completely false. So what is the interpretation of this? The interpretation is you try to do your best, you are using same substitution method, but suddenly happening that you cannot isolate the x, okay, the variable can remain, no, because the y is eliminated somehow. And you get completely false statement, that means that we have no solution. No solution. So this situation frequent not frequently but sometimes happen you need to be aware to face this situation no solution uh -huh. what is the reason get no solution because it doesn't work the dimension professor yes but the problem is that we have no intersection and this situation happen when the line are parallel let me show you one picture illustrate very well that situation look at that in this scenario, we have two lines. We have two lines. Let me make a zoom. Make a zoom. Here. On the line are parallel. So we have two lines. No, the equation one. Okay, suppose case the black line. And the equation two, yeah, okay, the red one never touch. They are no common point. Uh -huh. Well, 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 just an, uh, one possibility to understand this is you take, for example, equation one okay, is ax minus two y equal to two, and you express it, move, uh, manipulate a little bit to express it in the classical y equal mx plus b. Okay, it's a slow, uh, it is uh, a slow in a cell for yeah. And you isolate the y. Let's do it, let's do it. Minus 2y is equal minus ax plus 2 divided by negative 2, both sides. Uh -huh. Y alone is equal 4x positive minus 1. Okay, this is equation and makes sense because the y in a cell is negative one, I, I suppose. Okay. Let me see one. Uh, yeah, I suppose get it here. Uh, approximately, I don't know. Two minus, uh -huh, it's negative one. And another equation, let me try, is four y, four x, sorry. Four x minus y equal five. This is, this is easier. Actually, I did that. Okay, when you isolate, it's 4x minus 5. And when you compare, guys, the slope of the first line is 4. The slope of the second line is 4. When you have the same slope, mm -mm, confirmation, they are parallel line, and the parallel line never touch, never meet. And therefore, this is a reason that we have no solution. Super clear? Uh-huh. Now let's move on to the example three. In the example three, boy, oh, yo, yo, we have a new situation. Suppose three X minus Y equal negative two. This is my first equation. Six X minus two Y equal negative four. This is my second equation. And this is my system. Okay, glad. Glad it's say you understand very well. Okay, super. Now, again, I don't know. I have no idea. However, I can see. I remember that we have two methods, substitution and elimination. And substitution is good 
when the one variable is one or negative one, oh yes, in the equation one, we have negative one here. So you take the equation one, is three X minus Y equal minus two, uh-huh, and you isolate the Y. For example, you take three X plus two equal Y. I move negative two to the left and negative Y to the right. Now, 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 I taking this, this uh, expression and substitution in another equation, okay, by the way it is, right? Yeah, so say six X, I copy, minus two times something. This Y you replace by the expression that is equivalent, is three X plus two, equal negative. Okay, because we have, we have, we have six X minus six X minus four, because you apply this three with the property here, you multiply negative two times positive three and negative six, and negative two times positive two is negative four. It's equal to negative four. Does it, similar situation happen, okay, we cannot solve the X because it cancel out. But the difference is, can you get true statement, no false statement? So what is the interpretation of this? What is the interpretation of this? Well, the interpretation of this is okay, both equation one and two is the same equation. Okay, I have no idea. However, I put in decimals to get the first approach to understanding this. Uh, magically, I can find, wow, look at that, we have only one line. Okay, but I don't understand very well. I don't understand very well. Let me prove somehow that okay, this line is the same. To prove that, you take any equation, you solve for y, for example, because I want to express it in a slow in a set form. Actually, I did that. So the first equation is 3x plus 2. Let's take in now the second equation, which is 6x minus 2y equal negative 4. And we are doing exactly the same action. So you solve for y is minus 2y is equal to minus 6x uh, minus 4, no? Divided by negative 2, divided by negative 2, divided by negative 2, negative, negative 2. We have y, y is equal 3x plus 2. And you see, wow, fantastic. It's the same line, look at that, compare. This equation and this equation. However, in the more complicated scenarios, okay, you have a lot of equations. It's too hard, a little bit hard doing it in that way. You take equation by equation, isolate one variable, but one variable isolate, because now we have two, but when you have three or four or five variables, this is more complicated. The, the, the thing is, I am doing for this goal, solving any system, 25 equation, 25 unknown. Okay, this is the typical engineer problem, in which you have several equations and several unknown. And not necessarily the same number, 25, 24, or 25, 26, and you need to interpretation any situation. Okay, to say one fantastic way is determine if the equations are linear dependent or linear independent. Linear independent or linear dependent, no? Okay, you know, it's antonym. Depending. So, for example, you see clear, super clear, depending. Uh -huh. If you multiply the equation number one by two, for the entire equation one, like a one package, you multiply by two, we have 6x minus 2y equal negative four. To get amazing, the equation number two. Therefore, the conclusion is the same equation, or in another language more interesting, is this equation are linear dependent. 
Well, the complicated part is that in this elementary sample was easy, but sometimes you don't see when you have 25 equations, you don't see. But fortunately, we study technique and we are using software. I want to explain in, the, in detail in, in your corresponding moment. And the software, the take team, see we have linear independent or linear depending. And the linear depending will not do not participate in the game because it's the same, it's repetition of the same. Okay, does it, does it, well, okay, okay, okay. So what is the conclusion, Professor? We have a solution, yes or no? The, the answer is yes. We have solution. Because solution means that there are coincidence in the in the line. And the problem is in the example one we have one point solution because touch in one point. And the second example never touch, no solution, but in this case. We have infinity many solutions because they are perfect coincident 100% to line. So we have infinity many solutions. Okay, so how you write? Maybe in an intermediate algebra, the student write in the piece of paper infinity many solutions or real number. They are equivalent, approximately. But I know in this case, no. And this subject is more sophisticated. You declare, you declare. So when you have depending, linear depending equation, you declare one uh, free variable. Because we have infinity many solutions. Uh -huh. So the challenge is determine how many free variables. It's complicated to understand now. However, I propose you that you declare one free variable as X. Because normally, you know, the traditional way is that X is the independent variable and Y is dependent variable. But not necessarily. We need to respect that. But okay, okay, let's follow in the tradition. X is the independent variable, so I declare it like a free variable. What means to be free? Okay, it's all real number. From negative infinity to positive infinity. Okay, it's this line in both directions. However, why no? Why is it not free? Because somehow, from Y is connecting mathematically with the X according to this relationship, this one. Therefore, the formal solution is solution set is no one solution, it's a bunch of points. By the way, it's all the points on the line. No? It's obvious that okay, one point here is no solution for this system, but we have infinity. Any point in on the line is infinity, is a solution. But what is the formal? way to write that. You open the curly bracket, you put x comma y, indicate any point or the pair, such that, such that is a stick like that, uh, y is equal 3x plus 2, because, because I write the formula connecting y and x, you know, okay. by the way, I prove mathematical is equivalent in both equations, and just you put a comma, and you declare that X is all real number. Any, any, any real number. Because they're free. So now the solution is a line, no, it's a point. Does a professor, I don't understand. Because they, at the beginning, you explain, explain okay, for example, this line have solution uh, dimension one. And this line have dimension one also. And you explain okay, the dimension of the system is zero because it's one minus one because it's the intersect, but in this case, no zero is one. Ah, because this theoretical part is valid when the equations are linear independent. See, it's linear independent, so it down is completely different. We have maybe one or some equations that is totally irrelevant, it's repetition of the same. You discover that the equation one and equation two is the same. But actually, we have no two equations, we have only one because they are linear dependent. Make sense? Uh huh. Okay, okay. This is a classical. 
And it doesn't matter that we are working in two dimension, three dimension, four dimension, five dimension, any dimension. Okay, we found three scenarios. One solution, no solution, and infinity many solutions. And infinity many solution, you need to specification the dimension of this solution set. Si es one dimension, si es two dimension, because sometimes in three dimension, sometimes sometime you have a plane. Y en more than three dimension, que by the way, more than three dimension, we cannot represent geometrically, but algebraically, yes, it's possible. And this is like a hyperplane. Hyperplane is a plane that you know you don't see the shape of the plane because it's in four dimension or in five dimension. Hyperplane. But don't worry too much for this. Any question? Everyone follow me? Cool. Now let's move on to the example four. Que bring me new situation. Example four is three x minus four y equal one equation one and two x plus three y equal twelve equation two. This is my system que I present now in the example four. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But in this example, we have no coefficients one or negative one, no. The coefficients are three, negative four, two, and three. So now, we can apply substitution, we can, but no convenience. So the best way is elimination. Okay, so elimination is fantastic, elimination to apply, you know, 95% uh, of the time, elimination is, is strong. And this is the foundation case uh, like applied behind the software and the computer. Elimination. Aha. Entonces, what is the key idea for elimination? What is the key idea for elimination? I need to do something artificially, of course. You need to enforce in the situation. In order to get, for example, same coefficient C, but opposite sign. Uh -huh. See this situation happen. Wow, fantastic. When you add in equation one and equation two, at least in that part, it's cancel out and the answer is zero and elimination the white bar. Not necessarily you eliminate always the white bar. You need to think about the strategy, the most convenient strategy in any problem. I need the same number. 12, 12, 20, 20, 40, 40, 3, 3. But opposite sign, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. You need to guarantee this. According to that problem, there are many ways, guys. This is the beauty of this. Okay, there are no unique way to solution. There are no infinity, but there are several possibilities. I take advantage that this guy is negative. Look at that. And this guy is positive. Uh -huh. At least I solve the problem. Would be fantastic that you are doing something in order to convert this four in, in, in the same number of three. Now, the convention that we are using from now to denote this idea is you put a, the, the, the small box and you copy here the multiplier that we need to do this. Suppose that I multiply by, by three, time three. You multiply the entire equation by three. And you multiply the entire equation two by four. Yeah, you take advantage that one is positive and one is negative. Okay, let's do it. You multiply by three the equation number one and you get a new equation that is 9x minus 12y equal three. And this is my equi equivalent perfect. It's not the same. It's not the same, no, it's the same, it's, it's the same. It's, it's, it's totally depending equation. So it's the same line, it's the same geometric shape, it's the same everything, it's equivalent, 100%. Algebraically and geometrically equivalent. 
equation one original is giving and equation one can I create artificially. And no multiply by, by, by four, the second equation, so says AX plus 2LY equal 48, no? Okay, the multiplication 12 times four. And we get the new system, okay, it's equivalent 100% to the original, but now it's ready for elimination. So you put a line here and you add in equation one plus equation two, column by column. That is the reason that when you face, guys, the solution for the linear system of equations, you put the equation always in a standard form. What means standard? The standard is this four, AX plus BY equals C. So in the left-hand side, left-hand side, you put in this order, alphabetic order, X first, Y second, E in the right-hand side, you put just the number. And it's matching perfect. This is a crucial moment. You add in by column 17x. This is zero. I create intentionally waiting for that moment because positive 12 and negative 12 is zero. Cancel out. And this is 51. Divided by 17 both sides. X is equal three. Boom. I feel it, no? I need to get the y value. Uh -huh. In three dimensions, you need to get the x value, the y value, and the c value. In four dimensions, you get the x value, y value, c value, and w value. All the, all the, all the variables that you, you assign, no necessary w, no variables you see. Now, in order to find the y value, you select the equation one or oh, equation two, it doesn't matter. The answer doesn't change if you select different equation because they are connecting mathematical, mathematical each other and the answer doesn't change, I promise. Now I select, I don't know why equation one. See, I select the equation one, you substitution three, X for three, so three times three, minus four Y, Equal one. This is my equation one, but the only thing I did was replace x for three, three times three is nine. Okay, minus four y is equal one minus nine, which is eight. Negative eight divided by negative four, both sides, y two. Now the solution is the order pairs, three comma two. Let's see, say I have the picture to illustrate this idea. I don't remember. Try, let me try, let me try. Oh, yes. Yes. Look at that. Let me make a zoom. Solution. So we have to line. We have to line. The first line is the, let me see, I don't know. For example, taking the first equation, you solve for y, 3x minus 4y equal 1. So for y minus 4y equal minus 3x plus 1. We divide it by negative 4, negative 4, negative 4, y alone is equal three over four x minus one over four. Uh, look in the slope, it's three over four. It's obvious, it's obvious, it's obvious that the equation one is the black one. Because the slope is positive and the line is going up. However, the other should be the negative, no? it's not, it's equation two. And the intersecting is the famous point that we discovered, trigonometry. Any question? Do you understand very well two dimension problem? Okay. Let me try now three dimension. Ooh. Now pay attention. I complicate. It normally happen in mathematics. It's classical idea. When you increasing 
the dimension of the problem. Therefore, magically happen. Okay, we have more possibility. You see, we discover another options. Wow, it doesn't complicate my problem. No? Okay, okay, let me try. Let me try to illustrate this idea. For example, I, I bring for you that pictures. You see that pictures? You see that pictures? Okay, for example, the classical, the classical system that we saw in a few minutes, a few seconds, uh, is, suppose, 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 let me copy one equation. Suppose x minus 3y plus 3z equal negative 4. Suppose this equation. So my goal is, what is the representation, professor, of this equation? This equation, let me analyze one more time, dimension, dimension. This, remember the formula of the dimension is number of variable minus number of equation. Obviously, it's, oh, an equation is one because we have only one equation. A number of variable is three minus one is two. Okay, three variable, one x, y, and c, one equation, one. So you have two equations, different situation. So it is three minus two, and so on. But no, 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 we are talking about only focusing in one equation. So see, the dimension is two, what means that dimension of the equation one is equal to, that means que the representation is a plane, no line. It's a plane, it's a plane, it's flat. You can imagine a piece of paper, right? A piece of paper okay, is a plane. It's a plane. Because we have dimension in this direction and dimension in this direction. It's two dimensions. We have no three dimension because I suppose that the thickness of the plane is zero. So we have, we travel in any direction but on the plane. You cannot go outside the plane. Therefore, the representation in 3D is three axes. So the classical axis X and Y, uh -huh. but we have another axis, which is the Z axis. We have X axis, we have Y axis, and Z axis. So we use it using your imagination in 3D. Suppose que this is a corner que es forme, for example, two walk and the floor. This is the floor. And this is one walk. And one walk. Oh, 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 whatever. Two walk and the ceiling. This is in 3D. Or suppose que we have a boxes using my uh, skill in 3D. Okay, this is tuck, tuck, tuck. This is this is dotted line because it's invisible. It's supposed to get the box. The box is one mathematical, or no mathematical, geometrically a object in 3D. And we have this dimension, maybe X, maybe this dimension Y, and this dimension C. Makes sense. Do you understand or not? Okay, the, the first thing you need to understand is number one, we are working in 3D. The graph is in 3D, but you don't worry too much for the graph in 3D because the graph in 3D is studied in calculus three. The student can need to take calculus three, well, take with me, calculus three. I explain it in geometric and three dimension. But don't worry too much, but it's important to get some idea that my new problem is in 3D and the graph is represented in this axis, and any equation, one equation is represented by one plane. And the, uh, the idea is the interaction between, suppose that we have one plane like that, and we have another plane like that. Okay, suppose that we have, this is one equation. This is plane represent equation one in my problem. And we have another equation. Let me use another color. Maybe this color I like. 
This is the second equation, no? This is the second equation. And we have solution. Why? Well, I suppose okay, yes. You, this is a line that represents the intersection. In this case, no unique, but we have solution to get touch. Uh, suppose that suppose that the plane are parallel like that, or like that, travel and never touch, no solution. But we have infinity many solutions in this scenario because any point here is solution. But okay, let, let, instead of doing my sketch by hand, case no good. Let's see this picture in which you can see several possibility. Uh huh. Um, um, let me try to guide you little by little, and you help me to understand this. For example, what do you think about 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 this picture? It represents suppose one system. It contains three equations. What is the equation? The equation is the red equation, is a plane, green equation, is another plane, and the yellow equation, is another plane, three plane. What do you think? We have solution, yes or no? Thinking gets complicated. I know it gets complicated. Now, let me make a zoom to see more clear. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Opinion, opinion. I need to hear opinion. We have solution. This yes, yes, yes. But yes, question mark or yes in exclamation. <laughs> Jenny said yes. But yes in question mark. The answer is yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, uh -huh, exclamation and capital. Uh, for example, I suppose using a little bit of imagination. No, no. Yes. Okay, that's too much, too much, too much, too much. Like here, click. I suppose, I suppose, let me click in the paint for the color. Okay, one point here is the solution. Okay, belong to the three equations, the yellow, the red, and the green. I suppose. This is very, very similar to this idea. Yes or no? In which was more clear. This black point is the solution. This is the typical unique solution. Not necessarily perpendicular. Maybe one plane is oblique, a little bit, one angle. But the important is that we have only one point in which intersect. You understand the idea geometrically? After I promise, I want to explain algebraically, or geometrical at least. Okay, let's move on to this picture. Okay, by the way, it's equivalent to this. We have solution, yes or no. Come on, participation. No Jenny anymore. Another Jenny is a yes. Okay. Anyone is agree with the Jenny or no? Uh, let me see another participation. Uh, uh, Edward is a yes. Joshua is a yes. Okay, uh, you are right. And the reason that you are right is because we have a intersecting. We have a common point. We have a common point. Look here, more clear, maybe. A common point between the yellow equation, the red equation, and the green equation. Yes, we have solution. But you have only one solution or infinity many solutions? Uh -huh. The next question, the next question after that, we have infinity many solution or one solution? Is unique solution or infinity many solution? Geometrically, you see, you, you, you don't know about algebra. Algebra, I explain after. Infinity, infinity because, because, because we have one point, two point, a lot of points intersecting here. Here again happened that situation one point, two point, three point. It's infinity many solutions. Yes, you are right. Infinity many solutions. Everyone follow me. Guess infinity many solutions. Uh huh. And the most complicated part, pay attention. The most complicated part is when you have infinity many solutions, 
you have to declare the famous free verb. Always. So when you have infinity many solution, the first thing you do after that is determine how many free variables we have. And the free variable is associated with the dimension of the solution object. Solution object. What is the solution object? The solution object obviously is a line, no? It's a line. Look at that. It's a line. Therefore, a line is the geometry object that have dimension one. Dimension of the line is equal one. Therefore, the dimension of the solution set for this system and this system is one. And when you express it, the final answer, you need to declare one free verb. Okay, it doesn't matter if you declare X, you declare Y, and you declare C. Suppose that we are working in three dimensions, X, Y, and C. Uh -huh. But you need to express it, another variable that is not free, as a function of the free variable that you suppose, hypothetically, is oriented. Clear this idea? Cool. Now, what do you think about this picture? How many solutions we have in this system? They contain three equations, one red, one yellow, one green. No solution, very well. No solution. I agree 100%. Everyone is agree? Because there are no intersection in between three equations. This is equation one, this is equation two, this is equation three. They are no common point, no solution. Be careful now, I warning. What do you think about this example? We have solution or no? Thinking, tricky, confusing. Extra credits, you get right answer. Two solutions. No, ever. Uh -huh. Remember, remember, don't create your own algebra. No. In, <laughs> in algebra, when you solve a linear system of equation, linear. Non-linear is another thing. But in linear system of equation, we have three possibilities. One solution, four. Listen, Edward. Listen, listen. You don't listen to me. Okay, 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 okay. When you solve in linear system of equation, I guarantee you 100% that we have only three possibilities. One, two, three. Only one unique solution. No solution or infinity many solution. It's impossible for solution to solution. This is a linear. A non-linear, may, maybe not. For sure, yes. But in linear. But why? Because it's a flat. It's a flat. It's a plane, it's a flat. We, it's not curvy. It's no surface. It's a flat, totally flat. Similar to the two dimension, get a line. Now it's a plane. And the, and, the, and the plane is, you cannot, it's not curvy. No, it's flat. Now, you maybe your idea, so you have another opinion, another student have another opinion, or, or you rectify your your, your idea, no? What do you think? Unique solution, no solution, and this is scenario. And this is scenario. It's unique, unique, unique. Jenny is a unique. <laughs> no, Jenny, no. No, no, no. no. The, the, the problem is Jenny. Look, let me try to explain. Suppose in between the yellow and the, and the red, we have solution here, right? And uh, in between the yellow and green, we have solution here. That is a reason you see two or four. No, because remember we have three equations. Equation one, equation two, equation three. Each equation is a plane. 
plane one, plane two, plane three. But remember the connection between this equation is and. You see, you need to find, you need to find one common point between one and two, okay, maybe it's this. And between two and three, okay, maybe it's this. But in between one and three, we have no connection, coño. Okay, and between the red and the green, no. Therefore, this is also no solution. Exactly the same of this. Okay, it's, it's obvious, it's, it's evident. But in this case, no, it's confusing. You see, I got it. Jenny said, I got it now. Okay, uh, uh, now let's analyze. <laughs> let's analyze these. Please pay attention to this. This guy. What do you think about this guy? Thinking, no rush. We, remember, we have three scenarios. Unique solution, no solution, or infinity many solution. Unique. Jenny say unique. Everyone is agree with the Jenny? Jenny say unique solution. Uh, Edward, Joshua, Gladys, my darling. Uh -huh. you, you, you see that every lecture we have is decreasing the population of the our class. In this moment, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven students. And the students want to pass. By Sul, Gigi, Kyler, eh, Kylie Garcia, Chelsea Ross. Okay. Is the student can know? Or the student don't know. You need to take another semester or take this class, no, and only one, so you know, separately. Caesar. Okay. Does everyone is agree with the Jenny or no idea? I suppose there is no solution again, Jenny. Let me explain why. By the same reason of this. This point is, is a common point between green and red. This point is a common point between yellow and red. This point is the common point between green and yellow. However, we have no common point in between Green and red and yellow. They are no common point. In between three, we have three. And uh, 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 when you increase in the number of equations, so it's more or low, no more, less probability to, to get solution. Because you need to satisfy the question one, the question two, the question three, the question four. See, at least one equation fail, we have no solution. It's obvious, right? Clear, Jenny, or no? Got it. Okay, okay. So let's practice. Let's practice. Let's practice. Let's practice. Let's practice before go, 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 go to the algebraic part. Let's practice in the last picture. This picture. Look. Okay. I want to. I want to, for example, call this is number one. This is number two. This is number three. This is number four. And this is number five. And so I want participation for the two, but one by one. For example, for example, for example, I, I indicate directly. There are no, no bad intention, guys. Uh, I don't know. Feel free. What do you think about number one, number two, number three? Uh -huh. And to say you put the chat. Uh, send me number one is unique solution, infinity many solution or no solution. Number two is Unique solution, infinity many solution, or one solution? Uh -huh. Number three, no solution. Okay. I would say that number three is no solution. No solution. Oh, I agree 100%. And number five, no solution? Yes. No solution. And number five, no solution, Jenny. One more participation. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. What are the rest of the students? Come on, eh, Chelsea. Eh, my darling, Guzman. Eh, Faisul. 
eh, Joshua, Brianna, Walters. Come on, guys. You make a mistake, no problem. This is not this. Uh -huh. Number two, no solution. Number two, no solution. Okay, I agree, I agree. I agree, I agree, I agree. Uh -huh. uh, number two, no solution. Yeah, 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 yeah. you're right. Because everything is no solution. Wow, I don't know. What do you think about number one? Number one, number one is infinity many solution. Yes, infinity many solution because the solution set is a line. So the common part in between that plane is a line. What kind of line? This line. Look, this line. I suppose it is this line. Infinity many solution. And when you write the solution set of infinity many solution, you need to declare it free variable. And obviously, one free variable because the solution set is a line, and line is the object that contains one dimension. And what do you think about number four? Well, number four is obvious. We have three equations, the red one, the green one, and the blue. And they are connecting. Well, they are perpendicular, 90 degree format in between them. So it's relatively easy to see that we have here a common point. But only one common point in between the three color is the three equation. So this is a classical unique solution. Make sense? Cool. We are the best. Now let's move into the interesting part because you have the background of this idea. Okay, it gets always complicated, I know. Okay, now you have the background. Let me clear. Okay, cool. Everyone follow me. Cool. I love to working with a student like you. Let me try, let me try, let me try, let me try, let me try. One example for I is the first example we study of the solution of the system in three dimension. Okay, it's X minus three Y plus three Z equal negative four. Equation one, two X, plus 3y minus c equal 15 equation 2 and 4x minus 3y minus c again equal 19. At the beginning I have no idea, totally lost. But this is my system. I enclose in the curly bracket to indicate that this is formed by mathematical object. No? Uh -huh. So now focus it in the algebra. Please pay attention. In this case, you take a couple of equations. Of course, no crazy smart. I take, for example, the equation one and equation two. Why? What is the reason behind this? Because you can see in the first equation, we have minus 3y. In the second equation, we have positive 3y. Oh, 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 it says ready for elimination. Do you see it or no? Yeah, I just copy. I just copy. The organization is crucial. The organization is crucial. This is equation one. I copy the equation two. Okay, now ready for elimination. Equation one plus equation two. In standard, this is by column, by column, the column of the X, the column of the Y, the column of the C, and the column of the right hand side is just number. This is three X. Fantastic. This is cancel out. Zero. Not necessary to write. And three minus one is two. Two Z. Equal, 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 11. I come from 11. 11 is 15 minus 4. Yeah, I call another name, equation 4. Everyone follow me so far? Yes. Now, you take another couple of equations. But this is super important. This is a crucial moment. The most important moment is now. 
For example, I take two and three. But the idea is if you eliminate Y in the first couple, one and two, you have to eliminate Y also in the other couple, in the second couple, in the second couple. The reason is clear. Because you eliminate another variable, you complicate your life. The reason is decreasing the order. You have equation four that contains X and Z. So you eliminate Y in another couple, you obtain the equation phi, okay, it has X and Z, and Y is, uh, is, is eliminate, is, is get, get rid of. Let me copy equation two and equation three. Guys, organization is crucial. So I copy 2x plus 3y minus c equal 15. And you copy 4x minus 3y minus c equal 19. Okay, AI again adding equation two plus equation three. Uh -huh. And so we have six x, four plus two, the y is canceled. This is the most important moment. So you eliminate here y, you need to eliminate y. You see now, it's obvious. No, because then another, another problem happening. Okay, the easy is eliminate z, for example, or eliminate x. And you lie, lie, I lie. No, you're making a mistake because you need to keep the organization. The organization should eliminate the Y in the first couple. You need to eliminate the Y in the second couple. And the reason is obvious. Because we have now minus 2C equal 34, no? 3, 4, 14, carry the 1, yeah, 34. And this is my equation 5. And my equation 5 and my equation 4 together is the new system. And the new system and the new system uh, have the same variable, X and Z. This is the reason. And now, well, 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 you apply maybe, well, I don't know. Four and five is ready for elimination. Look, this is the trivial example. Can I create for you to don't complicate too much the algebra? And you go directly to the point. You see positive two, positive two Z and negative two Z. Oh, we're ready for elimination. No, all we have, guys. No, no. So see, you are in now equation four plus equation five. This is nine. This is cancel out. Super, super cool. And it's 45. One plus 45, 45. Divided by nine both sides. And so we'll get ZX sorry, is equal five. Mm hmm. X equal five. And what should I do now? Plug it in the original, 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 original equation. No, because the original, original, original equation contains three variables. And you get only one. So you plug it in, in either equation, but in the equation maybe four or maybe five. They contain two, and you know X, and you solve for C. I, in my paper, I select, I don't know why, it doesn't matter what you select, that is the reason that there are many ways to solve in this. You select uh, equation four. Yeah, I copy the equation four, but now replace x for five. This is three times five, plus two z equal 11. This is 15, plus two z equal 11. 2c is equal 11 minus 15. 2c is equal negative 4. Divided by 2, both sides. c is equal minus 2. Cool. Minus 2. Okay, now I feel it. No, I need to find a y. Okay, what was the first variable game you eliminated? Remember, right? So now I select. Maybe I don't know, see the equation one or the equation two or the equation three. The equation four, I find no because contain X and C only. I have in my hand 
I need to select the original one, two, three. I select one, I don't know why. And when I saw it in my piece of paper, I select the first equation. Then the first equation, x f i minus three times y, I have no idea. Plus three times negative two, be careful with the signs. Be careful with the signs. C is negative two, so you replace. Equal negative four. Okay, so if I minus three y multiplication is minus six, equal negative four. Um, five minus six is negative one. Minus three y minus one, equal negative four. Minus three y is equal to minus four plus one. Okay, is minus three. Divided by minus three both sides, y is equal to positive one. Now, what is the solution? A unique solution, obviously. It's, o sea, the intersection between this one, two, and three plane and the three dimensional space have unbelievable one common point. Que este point, and you write in alphabetic order, x, comma, y, comma, z. Que es phi. Comma one, comma negative two. End the story. Any question? Let me try. Let me try to see. I have a picture in 3D of this. But you don't worry for this. This is not your problem. When you take calculus three, yes. You see the graphic of the three dimension. And this algebra, no. This is just curiosity for you. Okay, I did that in three dimension software. Yeah, I see something like that. We have three equations. I put in different color. I don't remember very well what is the which one. It's a, uh, green, uh, red, and blue. And you see a little bit, no, no clear. Que the, the original solution point is this. Que es, I suppose it's this one. Of course, in the software of that, you can rotate you to see a three dimension and you can see slow and to say you stop the rotation and you see, oh, yes, it's a five comma one comma negative two. If you want, I can show you Bruno now, next time. Next time, because it's a little bit detail, yeah, I don't want to deviate to the central idea today, get the algebra. Any question, guys? Do you follow me or you are totally lost? Follow me. Okay. Yes. Let's move. Well, to example, example, what's our example? This is four, this is final. <coughs> now this is six. Example six. It's very, very interesting. And bring me a new thing. Bring me new thing. Uh -huh. okay, example six. Is system minus x plus six y minus three z equal negative a equation one x minus two y plus two c equal three positive three equation two and three x Plus two y plus four c equal minus six. This is my system, linear system of equation in three D, three variable, three equation. I promise we study, guys. Not necessary when the number of the equation is equal. The number of and you need to understand very well this. But okay, let's let's slow down. Now we have three equations, three unknown, no problem. It's called a determinant. Determinant system, determinant. 
the sitting is called a determinant. When you have the same amount of equation and the unknown. Okay. Existing 25 equations, 25 unknown. Okay, cool. Uh, suppose that we have different number. Ah, uh, let's see what happens. No, no, no. It's too complicated. Okay, so now I am my piece of paper because there are no infinity way to solve this, but there are many way to solve this. So my piece of paper, I see in the moment I did that, is wow, I see that the equation one and equation two, without do anything, is ready for eliminate x because we have minus x and plus x. Well, I copy, I copy. Equation one is minus x plus six y minus three z equal minus a cool and equation two is plus the x minus two y plus two z equal three okay ready 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 to add one equation plus two equation okay. of course you organize elegant by column you have no problem this is cancel out zero and this is four well, I because it's positive six minus two, and this is minus z because it's negative three plus two, no? Equal, 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 negative five. And this is my famous equation four. At least I eliminate one variable. So in my piece of paper, don't ask me why. In the moment I did this in the piece of paper, I copy again, I copy again the equation two and equation three. I don't know if it's good selection or no. Okay, plus 2c equal 3, equation 2. Let me copy here, 2 equation. It doesn't matter in, in the way that you prefer to copy the name. Uh, you copy equation 3, yes, 3x plus 2y plus 4c equal minus six. I create this example to illustrate one idea. So the, the majority of the students say, wow, fantastic. E elimination Y, because it's negative two and positive. No, why not? Because you eliminate X in the first couple and you need to eliminate X in the second couple. Okay, now, 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 what should I do? Let me copy here. Let me copy two and three here. Two and three here. Because I want to copy here the factor that we need. We need negative three, I guess so. So you put a box, remember the convention guy that we are using to indicate me you and the test. You copy the box, you put multiplication time, and the factor is minus three. Makes sense, right? And you multiply by negative three the entire equation two. And when you copy, when you write, you multiply by negative three, you copy in either way, you copy down or you copy up. I I do up. You multiply by negative three, down, 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 down. down. So I copy two after the multiplication. Oh, no necessarily. No, no this line, this line we do it after. So you copy equation two after the multiplication and the equation two after the multiplication is negative three times one is negative three X. Negative three and negative together is positive six y. And negative three is negative six c uh, equal negative nine. And you maybe forgot that part. You forgot this equation. Now you forgot. Let me use in this. You forgot this for a moment, no? Because I focus it in the two new. When you add in equation two plus equation three. And some students say, well, professor, but this is not equation two. This is equation two transformer or two primary or two. It's the same. They are linear dependent. You consider it the same. Algebraically, it's the same. Now, addition, this is cancel out this zero. And you combine this and this together as a y. And you combine this and this is minus two c minus two c equal 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 negative 15 huh? negative 15 and this is my equation number five everyone follow me so far now the competition four and five 
competition four and five. I copy, copy, copy here. A Y minus two Z equal minus 15. And this is equation number five, because my new system can help me to solve in the big system. Okay, they say, now what should I do? I am lost. No, no, I am no lost. I multiply the equation four. Look at that. You copy here. Let me write here. Four and five. And copy here. Four and five. Four and five. And you multiply. And you multiply, for example, the equation four by negative two. No? Why? What is the reason? Can you multiply by negative two? Because when you multiply by negative two, we have negative two times four is negative eight. Oh, it doesn't get ready for elimination. At least the one part. I don't see more, but at least this part is, is okay. And you copy down the multiplication case is a four equivalent. Is negative a y nice? I like that. Ready for elimination. And this is minus two z. And this is mm, plus ten. No, no, no plus. It's ten. I default, you know, when it's ten along, it's positive. Okay, ready. So you adding equation four plus equation five. Ooh, something weird happened. This is cancel out. This is cancel out. This is zero. Zero what? Zero, zero. Zero. And this is negative five. Oh, and so you get contradiction. And when you get contradiction, what is the interpretation there? And loss. What is the interpretation there? We are doing the best. No mistake, no? Uh -huh. However, and the final answer, you get a contradiction. This is completely false statement. What is the interpretation there? Come on. Are you there or you are sleeping? Here? Too much? Yes, why negative to see? Uh, Jenny, uh, activate the microphone. You understand your question. Sorry, I'm asking why does the 2z cancel out when they're both negative? Ah, because I'm making a mistake, no? Oh, let me see. This is positive. Because negative 2 and negative 1 is positive, you see, right? And this and this is positive thing. Yeah, yeah. See, the only mistake they made was this. Good, good for you. Got it. So, what, what is the conclusion? You you understand the sign, but you don't understand the meaning. What, what is that? I got this. But what is the interpretation of this? I do my best. Uh huh. No solution. Very well. No solution. When you are doing this, and suddenly in the last step you have contradiction, that means that this system has no solution. No solution. One more time, I want to show you. Yeah. The image of the no solution, okay, the example, equation six, no? Six? Seven, I don't know. Okay, this. Yeah. And the same problem I am doing. In graphically using the software because I need to interpretation this. Of course, you don't need to do this. It's a graph in 3D, it's super, super complicated. And you see that we have intersection in between the equation green and the equation blue. And we have intersection between the equation red and the equation blue. However, this is line, both line, and this line is R parallel, never touch. Okay, basically, the solution between the equation green and the equation blue is the line. Cool. So suppose that we have in the system only two equations, the blue 
and the green, we have infinity many solutions. No? However, si you include one extra equation, que es de red, the solution between the blue and the red is this line. And, the, you know, understanding this idea gets no solution is because you see approximately, no conclusion 100%, but geometrically, you see that this line are parallel and never meet. That is the reason there's no solution. Do you see that or not? Do you see that or not? No? No clear? Yes. Okay. Okay, Jenny. Bueno, Jenny is my student star, no? Jenny, eh, Edward, Gladys. But the other is, is shy, no? You are shy, right? You prefer observe it behind the shadow no? and no participation. Okay, one more example, one more example. Complicated, complicated, complicated. Example, I don't remember. Sorry, no? Seven. It's seven or it's seven, no? Yeah, seven. Oh. You have two X plus Y equal minus three. Wow, what the hell? I don't understand this. Is it 3D or 2D? I have no idea. This is 2Y plus 16Z. Oh, it's 3D. It's 3D because we have X, Y, and Z equal minus three. Equation two. And equation three is minus seven x minus three y plus four c equal eight. Equation three. The problem is that in one equation, not always happen, but sometimes happen. Some variable is missing. For example, in the first equation, z is missing. In the in the second equation, x is missing. And uh, in the third equation, no, non is missing. Everything is present, x, y, and z. Okay. And the solution is similar. You don't worry too much. You take, for example, in my piece of paper, I take the equation one, is 2x plus y. I, I put zero, c. What's the reason? Because I want to guarantee the column. I see clear the column. The column of the X, the column of the Y, the column of the Z equal minus three. This is my first equation. Yeah, I, 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 I take with the couple of the equation two and the couple of the equation two is zero X because it's missing the X part here plus two Y plus 16z equal negative 3. Cool. Uh -huh. Just I thinking about the strategy. What is the most convenient way to make elimination? Oh, uy, uy, uy. Well, maybe, 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 maybe you take this first equation a multiplication by negative 2. What is the idea? The idea behind is you multiply by negative 2 the first equation. We have minus 2y and positive 2y ready for elimination. Okay, you say copy. I copy down the equation 1 again, but after the multiplication is minus 4x minus 2y. Remember the action that we are doing multiplication times this, times this, times this, and times this. Uh, entonces, zero C is obvio. Equal positive six. This is my new equation one after the multiplication. Okay, to say I don't care too much this equation I using. I don't I don't put it in the basket, but I I don't look in this. I don't care this anymore. So now I'm moving now equation one plus equation two. Equation one plus equation two. Equation one plus equation two. Mentally, I delete this. Remember. Okay. So, so we have minus four x 
This is ready for elimination. Boom. Plus 16z equal negative 4. And I call equation number 4. Okay, okay. I see. Wow, 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 wow. I see something. I see something interesting. The coefficients in this equation are 4, 16, and 4 gets divisible by 4. Yes or no? If you want, literally, that, oh no. If you want to simplification more, your your problem. If you divide it by four, look, you divide it by divide, no multiplication, divide it, divide it by negative four. This entire equation, we have x, we have sixteen divided by forty-four plus negative four, no? Equal one. So I guarantee you that this equation four is equivalent to this. I'm using this because it's easier, no? in my opinion. No? In my opinion. Okay. You follow me? It is classical. Guys, I know that's too long. Everyone making mistakes. And one is stupid sign. Well, one is stupid multiplication. So you slow down. You're doing slow down in order to guarantee the final answer correct. Suppose in the second couple, you take the equation two again and equation three. There are another possibility, yes, there are another possibility. But I in the piece of paper I take the equation two, I organize in a standard okay, I just copy you know? and equation three. I copy get minus seven x minus three y plus four c equal equal a plus you know? Okay, what should I do? Well, you try to eliminate c in this couple. I eliminate y. You should. Eliminate y. Okay. And then it's a little bit more complicated because, well, no, 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 it's not complicated. Look, you multiply maybe. Guys, do you understand where I confront this number? No, it's logical. It's, it's elementary, no? You multiply, so you multiply, for example, the equation two, you multiply by three, possibly, and the equation three. You multiply by two positive again. We have six positive and six negative. And you copy the system now. Equation two again after the multiplication is zero x plus six y plus forty a z the multiplication sixteen times three equal minus 30. That is my new equation two is equivalent. It's, it's dependent. And equation three is 14, negative 14, the multiplication negative seven times two, minus six y, wow, I like that. Ready for elimination, positive six y, negative six y, uh, plus eight z equal 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 16 get the multiplication two times six now ready 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 i put the line i, I put the line when you are ready to add in you can add in or subtracting depending on your strategy in this case i multiply by the opposite number so you add in it's much better and i get the 14 c e plus plus one well, this is gone this is 56 c equal negative 14. Negative 14, negative 14, negative 14, X, ui, ui, of course. It's X, no Z, C is the same. <laughs> negative 14, X. Okay, cool. Equal negative 14. Okay, this is equation five. This is equation five. Okay, I need to uh, confront uh, between equation four. But I see one detail. Whoa, 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 whoa. What, where is that? Look at that. If you divide, you don't necessarily to see exactly like me. 
but in one moment you see, you realize. Suppose that you divide this equation by negative 14. You divide it by negative 14 here, you divide it by negative 14 here, you divide it by negative 14 here. I, I see. Suppose that you don't know, you copy exactly the same here, but you in one moment you see the same idea like me. And you get x along minus 4z, you can see 56 divided by 14 and 4 equal 1. And this is my equation. Wow! Look at that, what happened. I don't understand anything. This is my equation 5 is identical to equation 4. Okay, to say I don't understand anything. Do we have a solution or no? What do you think? I'm totally lost. I don't understand anything. Okay, let, suppose that I continue because I have no idea. Some students have idea what's going on? Yes, solution. Jenny is a yes solution. Okay, let me try Jenny. Yes, solution. Only one or infinity many? Everybody say yes. We have solution, professor. It's equation four and equation five. But equation four and equation five are identical. Linear dependent. Oh, Jenny say it's linear dependent. And it's linear dependent. What is the conclusion? What is the conclusion? What is the conclusion? Linear dependent. Yeah, uh -huh. when you have depending, linear depending means it's the same, it's the same. They are saying it's low, yeah, I agree, saying it's low, saying everything, it's the same line. Uh -huh. So what is the conclusion? We have solution, yes, you say, but the, the, the clue is, is infinity many solution or is only one unique solution? I have no idea. Let me try it's infinity, yes, it's infinity, it's obvious it's infinity. So you have three planes. When you intersecting, okay, you have three planes. Let me see geometric, and after we finish algebra. We have one plane, we have another plane. And the intersection in between this plane is this. It's this line, okay, it's equation four. And we have another equation in 3D. Okay, when you're intersecting, give me the same line. Do you see the idea now? Do you see the idea now? Cool. So now the student can don't see that. No problem. You don't see, you never understand this part. No problem. Let's continue. To continue this, I want to make multiplication, maybe elimination one more time. You multiply, for example, you multiply, for example, the equation four, is it four and five? By, by negative one, I guess so. To say you have negative x in the equation four, plus four c equal negative one. No? You multiply by negative one, everything. And when you adding four plus five, Everything is canceled. Zero equals zero. This statement is true or false? It's true. Ah, uh, remember the case. In... Oh, what the heck? Not Let me close this up. That's embarrassing. Natalie Nunez. Uh, wow. Okay. Uh, remember the uh, second example that we're doing today? Okay, we get not necessarily always zero equal zero. So you get through a statement. Two equal two, four equal four, event 20 equal 20. That doesn't matter. You realize case infinity solution. Okay, so infinity many solution is the, is the thing. But but, but, this is the crucial moment, okay? The student don't understand very well. I try to explain clear. I try. 
uh, remember the solution set is a triple order x comma y comma c because remember we are working in three dimension such that and you copy the expression for the y the expression for the x and the expression for the for the so you copy the expression for the y the expression for the z and the expression for the x no? and you declare a maybe one free variable because it's a line no? you follow me so in your opinion they are perfect connection perfect connection between X and C is this formula, this equation. That you, for example, you isolate X along, 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 is one plus four Z, no? That in the, such that, satisfy this condition. X is equal one plus four Z. And just at least you stay a relationship, a connection in between X and Y, because it's the thing I need. But what about the y variable get disappear? Y variable disappear at the beginning. Well, disappear because I select the elimination of this. Suppose que another student doing different like me, no problem. Because we obtain another relationship que es similar. Now, it's obvious que in any problem we have infinity many solutions, we have at least one free variable. And the free variable can do not participate in the game. And why? So why is any real number? Do you understand this idea or no? Repetition. When you get infinity many solution, you need to investigate how many free variable we have. In this case, we have only one. Okay, why? because I don't never discover the connection in between Y, X, and Z. Uh -huh. Another way to represent this, okay, maybe in Alex, they want represent like this. This is all the pair, X, comma, Y, comma, Z. But if you write like that, I suppose it's all three-dimensional space, R cubic. No. Suppose que es one plus four C in the X place. Look at that. X is equal to that. Y is free. And C is C. Because C is the same variable that you plug in here to get the, the X Y. This is the only way to express it. No, there are different ways to express it this. Depending on the rule, depending on the the analysis that you are doing to elimination and depending on the declaration or definition of the what you consider is the free variable. I know that this is very complicated, but you have to practice. In the review packet, we, of course, we are doing this and, and I promise, I promise that, I promise, look, don't worry too much because after we study matrices a matrix is a perfect organization to do this do you see i try to do my best to organize the equation equation one equation two equation two what you do you can imagine 20 equations this is crazy and the matrix is magic because the matrix organized perfectly uh-huh and after that, you put in the software and the software moving the equation and doing elimination in one specific algorithm and discover the answer. And discover how many free variables we have and show you directly this. But no, 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 today, today, no. Today only we are doing by hand like a kindergarten guy is, is using algebra. No sophisticated software. No sophisticated matrix. Any question in the number seven? Do you understand very well the last part, free variable, or no? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, one more example. Surprise, bring me a new situation. Is example one number A, no? Suppose x plus y 
plus z equal to equation one. 2x plus 2y plus 2z equal 20. And suppose minus 5, minus 5 again, whoa, minus 5z equal minus 50. You see something weird in this system? Oh no. What do you think? Do you see something weird in this system? Um, the first part, they're all one, and then it's 10. And then the second part, they're all two, and it's 20. And then the third part, they're all negative five, and it's negative 50. So it's like a pattern. Oh, I say pattern. What means the pattern? It, I, I, I never use the word pattern. I use another word. What Sorry, happened? The other word. What, how, how, you see, partner. You see, partner. Good, good. You see, I recognize the partner is super important in mathematics. But what is the conclusion? What is the conclusion? Any conclusion? Don't don't read the equation again. Uh, don't 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 read. Only what is the interpretation? You see, the partner. But what mean that? Opinion, opinion. Come on, Gladys, Jenny, Chelsea, Edward, Brianna, Joshua, Faisul, Natalie, are you there? Natalie. Natalie? No, she's not here. She only made a mistake. Mistake, no noise. Okay, uh, no idea, guy. Uh, let me get the glue. Uh, this equation are linear independent or linear depending. This equation are linear. Linear. We have two possibilities: independent or depending. What do you think? Big question mark. They are linear dependent or linear independent? No idea. Nobody understand very well what means linear independent, linear dependent. Can I illustrate in some example? Depending, Edward said it's depending. Uh -huh. But the three are in the independent, Edward, the, the, the three are, are depending. Each other. Because we are told when you have two dependent. But in this case, the three are dependent. Edward say it's dependent. Uh, my complementary question is all of them. They work. No idea. You say something. See, everything is wrong, no problem. The, the important is the analysis. Not sure. OK, OK. OK, let me uh, give you a clue again. If you take the equation one and multiplication by two, for sure, you get the equation two. Yes or no? Therefore, one and two are dependent. And also, so you take the equation one again and multiplication by negative five, you get the equation three. 
Yes or no? Therefore, one, two, and three are depending. It's the same. Actually, my problem can I create to confuse you is no one equation. It's not three equations, so it's only one equation because they are depending and they are the same. So you can interpret this geometrically is because you have a plane. Suppose that this plane is red color and represent the equation one. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And what about equation two? And what about equation three? It's the same. It's the same plane. Because they are depending. Do you understand this idea or no? There's a basic guy. We have three planes. No parallel. No, no. Coincident. One on then another. Therefore, we have solution, yes or no? My next question is, yes, this, we have solution. Solution is yes. The answer is yes. How many? One solution or infinity many solutions? Unique? Infinity. Okay, okay, infinity, infinity, infinity. Uh -huh. But I have another extra question. Remember, I'm the guy of the extra questions. Always I have one complementary question. Infinity. How many, how many free variables you believe they have? How many? Free barrel. You suppose okay, we have free barrel. Variable. How many free variable? How many? How many? Two. Very well. Very well. Because the solution object is a plane, no line. When it's a line, we have one free. When it's a plane, two free. Okay. Cool. So the answer is two. Two free variable. Two free bird, two, two. So, two free bird. And you declare the name is not important. The amount is important. The solution set for this system is, look, let me show you. You don't need to do anything, only solution set. Leaving the solution leaving in the 3D plane X, Y, Z such that the connection is x plus y plus z equal 10. And what about, uh, you solve it, for example, for x. Sorry, 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 sorry. Let me do it in an elegant way. You take the equation, you, for example, uh, isolate x because I make a decision, I express it like a 10 minus y minus z, because it's there. X is equal 10 minus Y minus Z minus C minus C, no comma, comma, and C and Y are any real numbers. In other words, this is a free variable. So Y and C are free variables. Suppose que eh, another terminology is expressed like x, y, z. Well, in the x plane, you put 10 minus y minus c. Take this expression. This is x. And y, y, and c, c. It's equivalent. Everyone understand very well this. Okay, now to visualize, I bring in the picture, create in the software. But uh, maybe don't see very well. Look at that. The system of the solution for the number, number, what number is? A, no? A, A, A system? Yeah, A system. Let me enlarge. Uh, in the software, you don't see very well because there are coincidence in between green plane red plane and yellow and the yellow you don't see too. do you understand that again 
Super. We are the best. We are the best. In Miami, they coach. Do you see my face? Okay, remember, today is the due day to send me by email the test number three on paper and submit and Alex the test number two and their corresponding homeworks. Bye-bye, guys. See you. Bye.